Now my examples are going to include one that's a product and another one, that third one, where I'm gonna to have to apply L'Hopital's rule a couple of times. Let's go ahead and start with e to the x over x as x goes to infinity. Now here comes our rule. As long as the limit results in either a zero over zero or an infinity over infinity, this is one of our indeterminate forms. We don't know what these result in. It could be a zero or a one or an infinity. But as long as it's in one of these forms, we can apply our rule. The limit is gonna be the same as the limit with the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator. Let's go ahead and analyze this one. Now I've got the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x over x. As I put an infinity in there, I get e to the infinity over, that would be like infinity. Now e to the infinity goes to infinity. So this guy goes to infinity over infinity, which is great. That is one of our indeterminate forms. So as I analyze my limit, so the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x over x, I want to take the derivative of the numerator, this is L'Hopital's rule now, over the derivative of the denominator. So this is the same limit, so the limit is x approaches infinity, but I get their derivatives. e to the x, its derivative is just e to the x, all over 1. Now as I plug infinity in, I don't get an indeterminate form. This goes to e to the infinity, which goes to infinity. Here comes our next one. Now in this next example, we've got a product when we really wanted a quotient for that indeterminate form. So in order to answer this question, does it satisfy one of these, I need to rewrite this so it is a quotient, a fraction instead. I'm going to leave the natural log in the numerator and I'm going to put that x in the denominator. I can also think of this as, put my limit out in front here, 0 plus, the natural log in the numerator 1 over x in the denominator. Now let's check for that indeterminate form. As x goes to 0 on the right, this is going to be the natural log of 0 from the right. My natural log looks like this. So 0 from the right goes to negative infinity over 1 over 0 from the right. This is infinity in the numerator. 1 divided by 0 in terms of a limit is also infinity. That should be a negative up on top. And we end up satisfying that indeterminate form. Let's go ahead and take the derivative now. So I'm going to take my limit, and I'm going to take that limit in the fraction form. And I'm going to write this as an x to the negative 1. Since I satisfied the condition for L'Hopital's rule, I can take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. So this gives me the limit as x approaches 0 from the right. The derivative of the natural log is 1 over x. And applying a power rule to that denominator, I get negative x to the negative 2. So we end up with the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of 1 over x all over 1 over x squared. Let's do a little bit of math here. This is 1 over x times the reciprocal negative x squared over 1. So this ends up being negative x. So this is equivalent to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of just negative x, which is equal to 0. Now this one's super important because I'm going to need to use L'Hopital's rule not once, but twice. I want to first verify that I've got one of those indeterminate forms. And to do that, I'm going to rewrite my limit so that I have a fraction. I'm gonna leave x squared in the numerator and e to the x in the denominator. As x goes to infinity, I essentially get an infinity squared over e to the infinity. And this definitely goes to one of our indeterminate forms, infinity over infinity. So I can go ahead and apply L'Hopital's rule and take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. This gives me the limit as x goes to infinity. I get a 2x in that numerator and an e to the x in the denominator. 
but as I analyze this limit, as x goes to infinity, my numerator and denominator go to infinity again. So I need to apply L'Hopital's rule a second time. I can take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator, and I get the limit as x goes to infinity. That numerator now is just a two, and the denominator's derivative is an e to the x. As x goes to infinity, I get two over e to the infinity. Two over infinity goes to zero. You've got this, check out this next one.